Good evening. Damn, flame it. Good evening, folks. It's Richard Jean, the fishing machine here. I'm here in Sylvania. This is Deep Cab County Lake. It's a state lake, and it's real simple. I wanted to do something just a little bit different. Uh, I do that a lot. I'm exploring. Now, it's been years since I've fished this, this little system right here. Actually, it's 120 acres. It's pretty big. Uh, it had been drained a few years back and, the, and restocked. Since then, I hadn't fished it. Uh, the last time I probably fished this lake was probably in 1995, something like that, a long time ago. So I acquired a map of this lake and I studied it. Right here, right where they have this pier, should be a fantastic place to catch bass. Now, there's uh, several species of fish in this lake. There's a channel cat, shell cracker, bluegill, crappie, and largemouth. And that's basically it. Uh, but I've done got my stuff out there waiting, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to try to catch a fish this evening. I don't have long, but I think this is going to be a key spot. And if they're there, we'll catch them. It's incredibly clear. Let's take a look at that. Real clear. And what I have with me today is some Walmart night crawlers. And I'll show you what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to do something that I used to do a lot. And that's fish with two pound test line and the night crawler. Now in the winter, you can get by with this. I have caught some big bass doing this in the past. Now it requires a lot of patience. Uh, you're taking a big chance with two pound test line. Actually, this is two pound test. This is two pound test of vicious. Uh, same line that I use for crappie fishing. And this is just a size six hook, brim hook, is what most people calls it. And I'm using a truser rod. It's eight feet long, given to me um, by Victor who has a channel called iFish, check him out. It's a very expensive rod and I've used it several times. Has an incredibly small tip and just only flex right there about 16 to 18 inches from the tip to where it stops flexing. It's incredibly light. And I'm just using a Daiwa reel. This is just a Daiwa uh, Fu Ego. I can't really say it. That's not the right way. And the reason I'm using this uh, this reel, folks, is because the drag is incredibly perfect. What we have right here is just night crawlers. These are just Wally World night crawlers. Let's find us a pretty good size one right here. And no weight. Just a night crawler. This is the head part of him. And I'm just going to take it and find that little hole right there and do that. And that's it. But I'm going to have to cast against the wind. So let's do that. Let's get it out there as far as I can. Now I should be in around six to eight feet of water, according to that mount right there what we have right here is a shallow little flat over here and right over here it's shallow and right in here it's shallow up to probably about that stop and then it starts falling off that's perfect for this time of year this is the kind of stuff i look for in these big lakes that i fish on the tennessee river it's a great, great spot. No matter if it's a lake or a river system, it don't make any difference. It's a winter spot. Now, what I'm gonna do when it gets on the bottom is I'm just gonna stitch it. There's fish. 
doggone. He slipped up on me. I thought I was hung up, folks. It's a pretty good fish right here. I'm going to tell you what. There's so much cover and stuff like that that the state's put out there, which is a good thing. It's going to be hard to land this fish on two-pound line. Let's get right in here jiggy with him. I'm pretty sure it's bass. Oh, he's under the dock. Let's see if we can get him out. Oh, and there's a line right there, and he's caught up in it. Look here. Can y'all see that? It's a largemouth. That's what I thought I would catch right here. Let's get him up here. He ain't very big, but I'm using two-pound test line. Let's see if we can get him. My goodness, we got all kinds of line. Let me adjust my camera. Can y'all see what a mess we got? There we go. That's a pretty little large mouth on a night crawler. Look at my line, how it's all messed up right there. Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff out here, which I'd mentioned. The state puts it out to attract crappie, bluegill, bass. That's a beautiful fish, though. See how clean he looks? He's probably around, I don't know, 13 and a half, 14 inches long. That's a pretty good tussle with two-pound line, but you can get by with that when the water's this cold. The only problem is, is all this cover right here. Let me see if I can get, get right here. We'll get a release on this fish right here and watch him swim off. They're slow about biting. All right, let's put him right here. Look how clear that water is. There he goes. My goodness, this wind is gusting like crazy, but I've got a bite right here. There's a fish easing off right here with it. Now, he stopped. He stopped right there. So that fish has got it. Let's see what we got now. All I'm gonna do is just reel. And then I got it. Now I'm gonna have to hold my rod up, folks. Remember, this is two pound test line. This fish is taking drag. Now, I'm going to be honest, as cold as the water is, I don't know if we have a, how big it, there he comes, it's a good fish, y'all see? Let me get up here high like this. Now, I'm going to have an awkward time landing this fish, account of all the cover. Now, right here is a bunch of stuff this fish is going to try to get into, but what I'm going to do is just hold against him, look here what a bass, two pound line now, folks. Just hold against them. When they start going for this cover like that, just hold against them. Just enough from, from keep keep breaking your keep from breaking your line. I'm having to focus. This bass is really fighting right here. Don't try to horse them away from the cover, because it's impossible to do with two pound line. Look here. Can y'all see him? Now that is a beautiful fish right there. Beautiful bass. And a big one too. Let me get him right over here. Okay, what I'm gonna do is just walk him to the bank. I'm just gonna take my time. Everything I do, I take my time one reason is because I'm old. It's a good bass right there. That was hard to do too, folks. I had to really, really take my time and focus. See, he's wanting to dart under there. And I put the maneuver on him. Just enough to discourage him. 
quit. It's a good bass and a beautiful fish because that water's so clear. Look at there. Wow, that's pretty. Uh, yeah. Wow, I can't believe it. I'm going to try to solve the problem. Yeah. Uh, about what? Four and a half, probably. Thank you. That's a small mouth bass or big mouth? That's a large mouth. Okay, yeah. All right. What you catching on? A night crawler. All right, folks. Now that is a pretty fish. Sylvania Lake. Didn't know anything about it, but there's some good fish in here. And night crawlers, well, that's the way to go. Let's put him back and see if we can catch another one. Woo wee! Hey man, I'm talking about woo. Let's let him go right here at the round and watch it swim off. Let's just watch him a minute. He's give out that two pound test line. When they're when they're give out, they're give out. Fighting them that way. But there she goes. Hey. I'm talking about. Woo. It's simple. I'm not a mental heavyweight. But I do understand fish. Let's catch another. Well, folks, that was simply a lot of fun. A uh, couple of mistakes made on this fishing trip right here. Number one, I didn't allow myself enough time. Uh, the second mistake was, well, it wasn't a mistake, really. The wind got so bad that I couldn't make a presentation the way I needed to to catch those fish. But that was something that was pressing on my mind. Uh, I don't know anything about Sylvania Lake, but I knew that those fish were there, and I envisioned in my mind that was how to catch them. But I'll tell you what, fishing with night crawlers, anytime the water temperature gets 40 degrees or less, and if you're fishing a lake, or, or it could be a pond, it could be a river system, just anywhere like that, where the water is gin clear, those night crawlers will shine at that time, particularly in at that time. Um, they will outcatch finesse baits, artificial finesse baits like the zoom critter crawl, uh, small worms, drop shots. They'll absolutely outfish them if if you'll just try that technique. But as far as tackle, two pound test line, well is not the answer, believe me. That's just me. I was just challenging myself, and I do that a lot of times. Um, I like to eat, live on the edge, but really six pound test fluorocarbon would be more suitable for, for that application, in my opinion. I wanna thank y'all very much for everything y'all do. All the great comments, hey, woo. I, you don't think I don't... Hey! Woo! Man! Hey, woo! And just remember... Go fishing, lady!